Okay, so... <clears throat> yeah, I think I got everything here, so let's go for you. And it's a puzzle, of course. Good evening, madam. I wonder if you might spare us a minute to answer some questions. Um, yes, what about? Have you heard about the couple who live here in Chancellor Lane that went missing this morning after falling to the Thames? Vic and Tim, you mean? Yes, I heard. It's so awful. Do you know them personally? Oh yes, they're very well known around here. They're both performers, you see. They love the limelight, those two. Like this. Why did we turn into a puzzle all of a sudden? In the spotlight, okay. There is a silhouette of someone standing on a pitch black stage. They are waiting for the lights to come on so they can dazzle the audience. Can you light up the whole stage using only four spotlights? The light change direction if you hit the mirror. Select the light, switch it on or off, and illuminate every single square with the spotlights. Okay, let me just... Ah, is this what I mean? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah... Oh my god. Whoa! Wait. Oh, that so was simple. In conclusion, thank goodness I got that right. That was <laughs> sorry. That was simpler than I thought. You did it. The stage is filled with light. The star is on the stage. It's showtime. I'm sure I missed some puzzles, honestly. Well done, you solved it. You're very good, aren't you? Can you tell me more about the couple in question now? Yes, Vic and Tim are both star performers in, mu in, in musical theater. They are both actors, you mean? Yes, and very ta talented singers and dancers. They have the innate ability... Oh, inimit... What? The, inimitable stage presence only natural performers possess. Inimitable. Never heard that word before. It's a terrible blow, blow for the West End, this. There is a suggestion that Tim was pushed. Do you think it's possible someone bore him a grudge? Tim? I can't imagine so. He's such a mild-mannered fellow. And I saw Vic just yesterday. She didn't seem any different to normal. I just can't believe, believe she would have thrown herself into the river. I'm starting to piece a few things together here. This is almost like a performance, isn't it? To attract people to the festival, isn't it? Really? You saw her yesterday? That's right, at Lipsky Patissier. Vic absolutely adores the cake there. I, I can't bear it when I think Vic's face lighting up the prospect of one of Alex's cakes. I have to believe they're both alright. They'll be found soon, surely. They'll pop up again somewhere. Won't they? Let's hope so. Well, thank you for your time, madam. Oh, you're welcome. I'll just keep on praying for a miracle. Hmm. Hmm. Would someone who had, was so excited about a cake only a day earlier really throw themselves into a river the following day? I could have been a final farewell treat to herself. It could, it could have been a final, final farewell treat. Yeah. Sorry? It could have been a final farewell, farewell treat to herself. Jesus. Of course it couldn't. No matter how depressed you were, a delicious cake would always put you in a brighter frame of mind. Not everyone thinks like you do, Cat. Thank goodness. Well, we've at least ascertained that Vic paid a visit to Lipsky yesterday. Perhaps Alex might have something useful. Yes, you're right, Ernest. We should go there at once and see what we can clean. If we, if we still have some of us cake and stole Vic yesterday, we will always have to sample it. How did I know you were going to say that? Here. You found a clue, theater performer. Oh. 
Sorry, I keep pressing B. But first, let's see what you have to say. Oh yeah, the muffin. Ciao, bella signora. I have been waiting expectantly for you to visit us again. <clears throat> I'm sure Miss Lyson doesn't appreciate your over-familiar over tone. How kind of you, and good evening. Actually, I was hoping to ask you a few questions. Have you heard about a couple who went missing the Thames this morning? Of course. Vic and Tim are both regular customers of ours. I see. They come here together on dates, you mean? No, they always come with, a, with friends. I don't think I've ever seen them here on their own as a couple. Really? Hmm. Well, thank you for your time. You aren't dining with us today, Signora? Such a shame. Well, don't be a stranger. Xiao Xiao. So they... Maybe they weren't a couple? Hmm. Un momento, per favore, signorina. Oh, hello again. What can I do for my favorite waiter? I I have a small problem I was hoping you could help me with. You see, recently we have started to offer diners a special ideal meal service at a restaurant. They tell us what they like and we create a perfect assortment of dishes for them, but it isn't going so well. Hmm. There we inquire as to why. Well, our chef is a world-class cook, but he isn't good at understanding what the customers want. Well, with your power of deduction, signorina, you could devise a perfect menu for any of our diners. After all, you are a detective. It's your business to work things out about people, no? I see. I think it sounds fascinating. I think it's stretching, but okay. Oh, Miss Layton, you're so good, at, good to everyone. Too good, really. Jump in ahead first, why don't you, cat? You'll, know, you'll now find the ideal meal minigame in Cat Fiala's bag. See if you can put together the perfect combination of dishes to match each diner's peculiarities. Are you up to the challenge? Can you find the ideal meal for every diner that demands service? Yeah, I'll do that maybe some other time. Mmm, that smell. And look, these biscuits are fresh out of the oven. She's like a little puppy when she comes in here. I adore you when she becomes so excitable. You're never going to get anywhere with this pair. Oh, we're never going to get anywhere. Oh, Alex's brother, Hans is here too. Perfect. We can ask both of them if they have any information. I'm just checking to make sure... Yeah, so there are new coins here, so I need to be vigilant. Or maybe this was one of the coins that I missed, who knows. Yeah, maybe that was all. Let's talk with the brothers. Good evening. Good evening, Hans. Ah, Penny Layton. Again, I'm sorry about the Big Ben incident. I learned my lesson. This is about something else, actually. The couple who went missing the Thames this morning. You can team? I hear they are washed away in river. Are they friends of yours? No, yes. I made some props for the theater production sometimes. You do that as well? I say, you are a man of, you are a man of many talents, aren't you, Mr. Lipsky? Do you maybe know something that might help us with our investigation? Perhaps they had some problem that you know about, or they were worried about something. Sorry, they never say anything like that to me. I did not even know they were together as a couple. But they were? Well, if they if they are, were planning to take part in the show of devotion tonight, then yes. The show is only for couples, but they did not know they were going out. Really? They never told this to me or anyone else in the, in the theater group. Maybe it was a big secret. Well, if it was a secret, taking part in the show of devotion would have somewhat blown their cover. No, yes. That is why I'm surprised. Okay, so maybe they aren't a couple. No, wait, I just saw the smoke. And it's a puzzle. 
Gosh, I've just bought a puzzle in a mon in amongst Mr. Loops' delicious treats. I I wonder if it's edible. Mmm, an edible puzzle. Delicious. Well, I don't know, miss. I think perhaps it would be more satisfying to sew it rather than eat it. Robots stick the cake. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure the factory robots place the place strawberries on all cakes passing by on the conveyor belts. When you select a robot, it places a strawberry in its hand onto the closest cake. It then prepares a strawberry for the conveyor belt on its other side. Control the robots and place strawberries on every cake. Robots do nothing if there is no cake in position, and you can't operate the same robot twice in a row. Okay. So what, well, like... Wait, but, but what about this one? Oh, okay, put it... Oh, okay, 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 I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Yeah, no, no, I messed up, I messed up, I can't really tell. So let's start like this. So, let's try this. You, you, you. No, you again. You, you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you, you. You and you. I somehow figured that one out. Nice. So, in conclusion, that's a relief. I wasn't entirely sure. You and me, not you and me either, my friend. You did it. The robots have come out to it, out to it, the delivery van of the premise. Extraordinary. Eh. Yeah, I think I'm missing puzzles, because I'm wasn't the last puzzle puzzle 20? I did it! Very good, Ernest. I think you deserve a cake for that, don't you? I'm I'm sure you do, miss, but perhaps now's another time. Wouldn't it be he's the one who deserves a cake? Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, it was so freaking picky. Detective, welcome. You come to buy some of my wonderful cakes? Yes! No! Oh, um, no. Actually, we were investigating a case and I was wondering if you might have some information that could be relevant. This is in reference to Vic and Team by any chances? So you know them, Mr. Lipsky? No, yes. They live near here. I know their faces and they come here often to buy my cakes. Vic is in love with my. Profite rules. I still don't know what that is. I never actually thought what that was. I can't believe they are both miss both missing. Thames is dangerous river. Vic's family are very shocked by this news, I think. Oh, do you know their fa her family as well? No, yes. In fact, I just ordered from them. I just took order from them for... This is our I don't know what it is. Really? The Orton cakes when their daughter is missing? I thought it was strange, but they made orders, so I delivered. And how did they seem when they made the delivery? They didn't say nothing to me, they just take, take dessert and close door. Hmm. Very intriguing. The Lipsky brothers gave us some rather juicy information here, there, didn't they? Not half as juicy as those macarons look on the shelf over there. Not now! Fine, alright then, let's see if there is anyone else in Chancellor Lane who might have some information for us. Perhaps we could head back towards the office, someone around there might know something. I think I got everything here, let's see. Aha! What is it, cat? Have you cracked it? That boutique store is open now! Oh, uh, not this again. Yes, it was closed the other day, wasn't it? The old lady... Yeeks! 
Your lady said, uh, said something about the owner only opening when she feels like it. Let's go in and see what's, uh, what's what. I'm very curious about this place. Especially as it was shit the other day. That's right. Shop is just what you need to solve this case. Don't be ridiculous, Cheryl. But you may find out some valuable information. Well, I suppose you never know where your next lead might come from. Good dog. Right, let's go in then. What the? Really? First exploration? Oh... Wait, is it... No, it's only one time deal, okay. Nix, please, stop! Wait... Aha! I knew there were gonna be hint coins somewhere around here. You always want in attention when I'm recording, Nix. I don't get you. When I was free before you didn't. Yeah, another hint coin. When I was free before you didn't want anything. Uh. Ah, you want to buy my poponio? If you don't like this poponio, I have other poponio. Plenty of poponios for you. Ah, uh, thank you, but no thank you. You haven't. You don't want my poponio? Okay then. How about a puzzle? <laughs> Hoopla challenge. Roll up, roll up and take your chance at a game of Hoopla. But this Hoopla with a twist. This, oh, but this Hoopla with a twist, okay. Not only do you have to get the hoops to land over the pins, but you also have to throw a different number of hoops around the pins according to what color and shape they are. Use the four rings to place one ring around. Wait, what? To one ring around each circular blue pin, two rings around each square green pin, and three rings around the star shaped red pin. Pick up the hoops from left by pressing A, then drag them with A held down to everyone on them on board. You know, you should have explained this before with a fishy minigame, for Pete's sake. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, oh, wait, no, only one got caught there. Oh, no, it's maybe because, okay, so let's see, what if I do... Yeah, this one will count. Okay, no, I'm missing one, but I think I got... Yeah, because look, this one and this one are going to be... Alone, but I think I figured it out. Wait. Oh, I don't... Oh, I don't do it, just send them back. Okay, this is going to get annoying. Okay, I think I got the general idea here. Let's see. Would this count? Oh, it does count! Okay, okay. This makes it somewhat easier for me, actually. Okay, nope. Oh, no, because... Oh, okay, it's touching, so... Oh, no, that one isn't. Aha! I finagled my way to victory! Still not a patch on this Leighton, of course. I'm gonna be honest, that was complete and not dumb luck. Because apparently... No, look, that wasn't even the way it was supposed to go. Good to know. Who plug challenge? Yeah. Congratulations! Now I'll perform for you my special Poponio dance. It goes like this. See, po 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 I'm, Yeah, I already know that. Even I'd fall over trying to do that, and I've got got spare legs. When I Nix. When I was young, back in San Grillo, I was a champion Poponio bopper in the neighborhood. 
What do you have to say? Ah, it's useless again. I'm just weighing up whether I should go to the Riverside Festival or not. Oh, we were just just there and it was, and it was a lark. I don't know what that is. Nix, I can't see. Please. No, don't. No, don't touch the mouse. Nix, <laughs> why? There are all the oodle oodles of people gathering for this evening, sh evening show of devotion. It does sound interesting, but all that sentiment is too mushy for me. Open bracket. I don't want to turn up, uh, up at a show of devotion on my own. Close bracket. Oh, I see. Yes, I understand. <laughs> this doesn't want to be alone. The Lucky Clover. Look at this strange! Complete outfits, hats, accessories! I'm sure it looked delightful in anything at all, miss. I love to browse, but investigation has to come first at the moment. Let's ask if here if anyone knows anything. Oh, I'm assuming you're the owner here? I can't see Nix, please! Why do you want attention at the worst times? Oh, nice! Wait, ah! Uh, of course, a puzzle. Mm, big mirror, let me see. I saw that, Cheryl. You were checking yourself out on the mirror, making sure your coat looks sleek and, and your ears aren't inside out. No. Something just caught my eye, that's all. Ah, it's a puzzle. Perfect timing. I was thought to feel like a bored coolie. That's a coolie. 24 of the best 11. Oh, it's another one of these. This slot love football, but their team is full of such useless players that they are known as H10, the hoopless 10. Yes, they only have 10 players. Can you move one match to turn them into the 11 player team? An 11? Wait, what? Press and hold down A to pick the match. Press L and R while you're holding the match rotated. Okay. You need to move one of them to make it an 11. Is that what I'm getting? Is it like this? No. <laughs> Okay, I know. I imagine, but still, it was worth a shot. How do you? How is it rotating here? Ah, so it's in. Okay, okay, okay. Good to know. Wait, when I move this here over here, yeah, you can't. Wait, can, you can't put them over. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So let's put them over everything. Okay, I'm gonna look at it. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. One plus ten? Yeah, it can make sense. You did it. Now there are 11 players on the team with a goalkeeper like him, they won't be losing any games. Mind you, if they can't score a goal, they won't be winning any games either. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nice! Hmm, that was a decent puzzle, worth doing. Now then, where's that annoying theft? Cheryl, when were you last groomed? I I wasn't looking. Don't worry, Cheryl, I'll give you a brush later. Thank you, pinstripes. It's kinda of cute. Obviously, check the lights. Really? No. Oh. oh! Aha! So there was something here. Always make sure to look up and check the lights, fellas. I think I need to talk to you, but let's talk to you first. Dear me, fancy bumping into you again. 
Oh, good evening. Doing a bit of shopping, are you? It's the last day of the Riverside Festival, isn't it? The perfect excuse to buy a new outfit to go to go paint the town in tonight, I see. I'm especially excited because all the hard work Piper, as a mayor, you know, has been put in this year. Mayor Lowinda? Are you friends? Oh, dear me, yes! We go back a very long way. She was often in high society dues with her father back when I was a young spring chicken myself. Uh -huh. So, Miss Lowinda is from a wealthy background. Yes, I must say she's managed the family affairs wonderfully since her father passed away, according to her name. I confess I was rather stunned when she announced she was running for mayor, and even more stunned when she won. She certainly gives the impression that his proper governing of London affairs is very important to her. Oh dear me, no. I don't think that's the reason she stood at all. I think it's hard to say the whole reason she wanted to become mayor was to make the festival more festive again. Really? What do you mean exactly? Oh, I know, she seems like such a quiet thing now, doesn't she? But it wasn't that it wasn't ever so. Now, back in her younger years, she looked a good knees up. She loved a good knees up, what? I see. She doesn't give that impression now at all. Well, of course. Her desire to promote the festival is much more than a, just a personal whim. She has a good heart, that girl. She wants the people of London to enjoy themselves, you see. Yes. Yes, I can see that her, that her motives have merit. Dear me. There I go again, wittering on. I'm supposed to be buying a dress, not gossiping. Well, to the loo. That was an unexpected revelation about Mayor Lowinda, wasn't it? Come along, girls. Cheryl, back to Guildhall. But what about investigation, miss? There's something I'd like to put, uh, put to the mayor. Come along, we must hurry. Man, I'm... 3 for 3 on this one? Then I'm always like to do the first one, or 2 for 2, I don't know. You found a clue? Meryl Shadow Memories. Yeah, I'm starting to understand what this is all about. What do you have to say? Hello, feel free to look around, won't you? Thank you. Um, I wonder if I could ask you about the incident that occurred earlier today at the Riverside Festival. I'm afraid I really have no interest in the festival. <coughs> Sorry. I've heard of it, but I don't know anything about it. Or any incident, for that matter. Oh, I, I see. That's the end of that conversation, then. Yes, I think you're right, Cheryl. Well, no matter. Wow, she was very curt. Let's move. Oh, okay. 